So at five paces, this is what we're looking at with the number fours. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So if you want to have that initial spray on the bad guy and then maybe follow it up with a 45 Colt, that'd probably be a good combo. Now remember, these are only number four, so they're not putting out a tremendous amount of energy. They don't really have a lot of mass. So I would say that this is best for stunning the bad guy before taking your second defensive shot if you need to. All right, looks like we're off to a good start. So those number fours actually did pretty darn good. And I would say that those are good for stunning the bad guy, uh, which if you're just trying to get away, which is the objective is to stop the threat, right? Then that would sure do the job. So next we're gonna see if we can have a little bit more power here. He's gonna be the triple op buck. All right, so he's gonna put out a little bit more energy coming into that thing. So I've replaced the target. Let's see how it does. And there you go, I have the triple odd buck. You see the four pellets all just slap the crap out of it. Now it tended to go low and left, but they all grouped up in one spot, so ouch. That bad guy's gonna be hurting from that, like bad. All right, that was pretty darn cool. So <laughs> the triple odd buck, that handled the job. It put a hurting on that target. So as a good defensive load, that's looking pretty darn good, especially at this range. It just slapped it. So next we're gonna try that buck and ball. We're gonna do that triple defense from Hornady. I can't wait to check this out. I think this is gonna be a real hammer. All right, let me pace up this target. We'll get a good look at this. And there's another good wallop right there. Got some shot going over here. Slugs went down there. Everything seems to be tending left. I bet you that's because of the rifling. All right, so there's my three test loads. And they slap your hand a little bit, but they're not really terrible. So if you're in a defensive situation, you're not really gonna feel that anyway. Your adrenaline's gonna be way too high, but those are the results on target. Okay, that's all fine and good, right? How's it actually gonna do, okay? What are we gonna be looking at when we're shooting at an actual soft target? Well, I just so happened to bring out some targets. All right, and we brought out a trio of the Big Green Menace. We're gonna see how these separate defensive loads handle these targets. All right, we're a little bit closer here, obviously. So we're within realistic assault distance like where a bad guy will be attacking you according to statistics and we're going to start off with those number fours and see how they do on this melon now another reason i moved up closer is i noticed that they tended to go low and left so i wanted to make sure that we got some good accurate hits so here we go Let's see how we did. And right there you can see how it's peppered up pretty good. And you put a hurting on it. It is a good soft target. And it is gonna cause pretty solid damage. So you could consider this for a good defensive load. Okay, that was pretty decent with the number fours. So now we're gonna check out the buckshot. Those, in my opinion, have been the most impressive so far. So let's see how they handle this melon. Now biggest thing about shooting this close, especially to a burn pile like this, make sure you're wearing your PPE. Look at that, and just as predicted, they all went low and left, but they just, where they, obviously they didn't hit up here, there's no peppering, but down here where they hit, they hit with authority.